channel fam. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because we post three videos every single, it feels like a month. <laughs> okay, so we have been here on here in so long and guys, when I tell you this week, has been very trying for us and our family. Lots and lots of trials and tribulations, as you can see. Lucas is wearing a mask right now. Do you want to talk in this video? Or? I'm, I'm gonna let you go on this one. Just talk for me. <laughs> so, Lucas has COVID, which is crazy. It's been a couple of days since I've got it, so I'm starting to feel better, but still a little short of breath. Weird that I have COVID though. Yeah. And none of you guys have it. So we've no. been doing a good job quarantining me and I've been wearing masks, washing my hands a ton. So yeah. Yeah. This is a close I've been next to Lucas yeah. in about four days. <laughs> I know I'm like Ooh. it feels so weird. Like, can I get my husband? I know. Back? Uh... <laughs> Me, Lily, and Josiah were waiting for breakfast. We walked into like an arcade because it was in like the same building. I wasn't there and it was funny that night, that day, I was like, oh, I should just keep her. I should just keep her. Mm -hmm. And Luke was like, oh, let's just let, I just, I could just bring her down, you know? While we were in the arcade and it was tile floors in there too because the entire thing was tile floors just kind of set the scene. And so she turned to me to say something. She was like, hey, dad. And literally just in an instant just went down, folded just straight backwards, hit her head on the tile. And, and started seizing. And so I would say she seized for about three seconds and then was, was unconscious for about 30. But by then I'd already, I had her and Josiah. Mm -hmm. So I, I picked both of them up at this point, which in hindsight, like we talked about this after the fact, like we have like a, a full on action plan now for seizures. But like I picked both of them up and I just started running to the car. Um, Cause like we were like really close to where Rachel was. So, um, I was in a panic and I called Rachel and like, you know, do you have the diaper bag because there are medicines in there? And like, you know, she was like, did you call the ambulance? I'm like, no, call the ambulance. So yeah. she called them like within like, you know, 30 seconds of her passing out, all this was going on. Right. And, um, and then Rachel, you know, got the ambulance, got there very fast. They did get there fast. Yeah. yeah they did. And so, uh, that was my, my first time witnessing her have a seizure. So it was very like heart wrenching and scary. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, like I said, so now we have an action plan now. So it's like next time, hopefully there's not next time, but like, I'll be more like on it, if that makes sense. Right. So like when he called me, he was like, get the diaper bag. And I'm like, diaper bag. Right. So I'm thinking like, she had like anaphylactic reaction and then like called an ambulance and called an ambulance like where are they? I'm like, I have no idea where they are. Right. Um, but yeah, so Lucas, you know, we actually talked to everybody, they're like, you just supposed to lay them down? Yeah. And you're not supposed to pick them up. Right. Um, time it, see what type of seizure it is. Mm -hmm. If it's longer than like, I think she said five minutes and you use, use the emergency which medication. Is, like, really oh, long. I can imagine that long. But yeah, so we were in a hospital and then they pretty much said that when we go to our neurologist, they're gonna probably put her on like a daily medication when it comes to like seizures. Um, so I've researched about it and on, on the pamphlet, talking about the keto mm -hmm. diet and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So like, you know, which is, I wonder if like that's why it was so long because she was on more like a keto diet. Mm -hmm. But like this week, for the last two weeks, we go to like Disney and stuff a mm -hmm. lot. So I don't know if like, you know, because we were more like eating out and like mm -hmm. splur like splurging when like when it comes to diets and stuff like that. Right. So I don't know if like that like kind of alternated mm -hmm. um, her body. I don't know. Right. But her doctor did say like her neurologist said before that her temporal lobe there was like a dysfunction in there, and that the seizures will happen most likely. It would might happen at any given time. So like make right. sure you don't leave her alone. In a bath or a shower, like ever, right. like she's never allowed to be alone in a bath or like any body of water. Like make right. sure somebody's always with her and she's not by herself in a body of water, like ever. Right. Um, and at the so, ER, yeah. at the ER, they check like her her electrolyte levels mm -hmm. and like her hydration levels and all that was fine. So it wasn't mm -hmm. like it wasn't because of that. It was yeah. like a pure on just seizure, seizure. episode. Yeah, because she wanted to make sure like it wasn't because of like, right. dehydration right. or. Um, anything and she said everything looked perfect right. so she's like yeah she she had a seizure like mm -hmm. it was just bizarre when mm -hmm. I tell you like the most randomest time ever it wasn't right. like she was sick right. she didn't have a fever mm -hmm. she was it was like in the morning it was just a good she was well rested right. like it was just such a bizarre time mm 
Um, I'm a little glad it didn't happen because we were supposed to be in a splash pad like literally 20 minutes later. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad it didn't happen in the splash pad pool. And I'm glad because later that night we're supposed to be in Disney and it would have been really bad. I think if it happened like in the middle of a theme park, right. I think that would have been a bigger scene. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm glad both, I wasn't there, which I'm, just, I, I'm really sad about. Like I wish both of us was there. Right. <clears throat> And it's funny, I had a really bad migraine that morning and it was gone. Like the minute, like, oh man, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was running outside in like my, like your underwear with no bra on. It was, I was like, where's my baby? <laughs> I was, it was a hot mess. Oh. But um, I'm really glad that, you know, God kept her safe. Yeah. Um, I did literally the whole time I was like 99%, 99%, 99%, 99%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, she's doing well. She's feeling well. Um, so yeah, that took, you know, like we didn't really do any filming from like a couple days and then right. like two days later <laughs> we just got COVID. COVID. So so yeah, this week has been rough. Um and other personal family news mm -hmm. has happened to people in the hospital and stuff. So yeah. um this week has been really, really rough for us. So I would definitely say if you guys could pray for us. I know like you guys are probably thinking like, oh my gosh, like so many things happened to you guys that way yeah and I don't know like why if that makes sense where but I'm like but again we're, we're honestly human and mm -hmm. we are in our 30s at this point so I feel like things will happen mm -hmm. at this point but again I feel like me personally like as someone who lost like over 10 people in their lives I feel like I don't know why like stuff always happens like I lost my best friend and like during mm -hmm. the during cross country race I think I told you guys yeah. In high school, I lost my cousin, the sickle cell, he was 24. So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's just, I feel like I get, I'm just like always like so anxious and like mm -hmm. now and just. Right. Anyways. I was going ramble there, guys. But you want to say anything about that? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I would say, so thoughts and prayers definitely appreciated. Um, I would say we've been, it's been a, uh, it's been five days now since my symptoms like began. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a fever in like two days. Mm -hmm. So, you know, knock on wood. Hopefully, like we've, we've been doing good with like keeping the quarantine and keeping things separated. So yeah. I really hope, hopefully you guys don't get it. Yeah, I'm hoping the kids don't get it, especially Josiah. Yeah. Because Lily has a lot of activities, guys. She's a very busy girl. Yeah. <laughs> so me and her are running around town, painting the streets and like, so you and Josiah are like really close. Mm -hmm. And then at, at, the, at night, like, in the afternoon, me and Josiah are cool together. Right. So I'm hoping I don't. He doesn't get it to give it to me because like right. in the day you guys are like this, <laughs> and then like afternoon me and him are like this. <laughs> uh. So I'm praying that um he he doesn't get it and and obviously she doesn't get it because Lily was like, guys, I cannot get that because I want to keep dancing and gymnastics. So I cannot get. It. So she's like, don't touch me. Uh, like. Uh, it's so funny, like she's yeah. washing her hands, like oh, yeah. making sure she's like, don't touch anything. Yeah, anything, so. anything I like touch, like, <laughs> and, like I start, I make sure I wash my hands before I touch anything. But like, if I touch them, she's like, mm -mm, can't touch that. Like, can't <laughs> touch that. <laughs> but um, hopefully we can continue because like we had some really good, like, exciting news mm -hmm. for you guys, and we couldn't like talk about it or post about it because you know Lillian and L Lucas. Um, Situations happen, so hopefully um, when things like get better, please get better soon, <sighs> we'll be able to continue our normal programming and on YouTube and on Instagram because Instagram right. is dry too, I know. unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments, like if you have questions about Lillian, about me, about anything else kind of going on, mm -hmm. um, and we'll, we'll answer them. Definitely. We would. And she has a neurology yeah. appointment coming up too. Yes. And we have Costa Rica coming up. So there's right. a lot to talk about. And I feel like it's like overwhelming for me. So I'm like, I know it's a I lot. Wanna, like, I just want to run and hide. I know. From like all this talking. Yeah. Which I feel like we used to talk so much on here. I don't know why I'm like so tired. I feel like I'm just exhausted. Yeah. I'm just so tired. I want to cry right now, but I'm trying not to cry. I'm yeah. so tired. I know. We'll make it through it and then. Like come out on the other side, you know, like sometimes life comes at you hard. <laughs> when it comes at us though, it could be punching us. I know. When life is good, it's like, whoa, but when life know. comes in, 
It's never like one swing, it's like multiple like yeah. <laughs> swings. When it rains, it pours. Right. By the way, we love you guys so much. Let us know in the comments, what are you guys doing? We have Father's Day coming up too, guys, which, oh my gosh. Girl. It's tomorrow, after the... So we're probably gonna be celebrating Father's Day like a little bit after, because mm -hmm. I feel like it's, I'm not ready. <laughs> There hasn't been a day where right. I got to like think. I know. <laughs> it's no. Been, it's it, been nuts. Non stop. The last few weeks. But, anyways, we love you guys so much. Let us know what you guys are doing this weekend and what you're doing for Father's Day. Or, um, yeah. We love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.